m m m mead and cheese. Hello, you are listening to Mead and Cheese on Demon FM, Fridays 7 till 9. Happy New Mead, everyone. Yes. New, new Year, New Mead. Exactly, and we do have a new mead to add to the leaderboard. It is the Kinsdale Mead Co. Hazy Summer Mead. Which we tried today in our pre-mead session. Yeah, we've all tried it. What do we all think of it? It's like wine, really, isn't it? It does taste like wine. It's like an earthy wine, that's what I get. It has the texture of mead, but not the flavour of mead. No, but there is that little hint of mead, like the aftertaste, you can tell that it's made with honey. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, But again, it's a difficult one. It's If you like wine, you would like this mead. Yeah, and if you don't like red wine, you probably won't yeah. enjoy it. But uh, the na- I think this nation is a wine-drinking nation. The ho- across the whole of the UK, people love drinking red wine. Mm-hmm. So I think this as could be... A, it's a very British drink, I think. Thing is, as I've said, if it tastes like wine, why wouldn't you just buy wine? <laughs> Because it, it's, it's got that rich flavour to it. Yeah, I think this yeah, is... Yeah, but what, so does wine. I think this is... Well, not, not the wine yeah. I drink. Well, but. you say it's a very British drink, but actually, reading through the um, the ingredients, it's made with Spanish honey, and the Kinsdale Mead Co. is actually based in Ireland. So, not really a British drink. No, well, yeah. Th- there was a war about that, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... Comparing it to Lime Bay's meads, which is the only meadery we've had on, really. Yeah, because this is this is a, this is one of Lime Bay's competitors. It is. I would rank it second place on the leaderboard. Yeah, I I did like the ginger one. I really because that's the, that was the current second place of tournament mead. Mm. So and it's been a very hard decision, but because I like red wine, and you know. I think I don't think this is just like a normal red wine. It has a bit more earthy taste, and it has that sort of same mead te- texture. And if you drink a lot of it, like we have, um, mm. you you do start to feel that mead flavour as well. But again, it, it sort of has taken away the honey. Yeah, aspect. you you brought up a very good point in the pre-mead session where when we tried the lime bay flavoured meads, the tournament and the black cherry. We thought that they were just like mead with flavour in. But you said that this one feels like its own drink. Yeah, yeah, this this is sort of like owning the fact that it's a different drink. You know, it is it is like a mead version of wine where where like the cherry and mead. Was it a cherry and mead? Yeah, yeah. That just felt like someone just put a bit of like flavour in it, just like a bit. And it, it it felt false. It felt it didn't feel like mead, but this I don't get that. I feel like this is its own drink on its own and, and can stand on its own two legs. Yeah, but it doesn't be the Lime Bay traditional. No, it, but the Lime Bay traditional is such a quality mead. It, I mean, it, percentage-wise, how close would you put this to take in over? Because cause I felt like there was quite a bit of distance between the traditional mead and a tournament mead. Like It wasn't like a close second place. Would you say this is closer in its second position, or do you think do you think there's distance? I think it is probably um, more towards being a joint second place with the ginger yeah. mead. Yeah. Um, I don't think anything has come close to knocking traditional off its top spot yet. Yeah. So we, yeah, that's what we need. We need something. What we need a mead. What is coming either close to first place or actually surpasses first place. And that is what we're for. So it is mm-hmm. It is sort of like a... It's just taken second place, in my opinion. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I want to say, this is probably the longest four minutes that anyone has ever talked about <laughs> just mead on this I show. I been totally focusing in on it as well. Like just listening and taking in what like, everything's been saying. C- can we Not. go to, like, Lime Bay Meadery and, and like, do an interview? Maybe. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Are they, are they where, where are they based? based? Or? Where are Lime Bay based? They are based in the Lake District. Mm. Are they? We could go well, there. Well, yeah. they're so. in Devon. Devon, Oh, yeah. Devon, even better. Yeah. My even aunt better. lives there. Nice. Well, so does my great can, cousin. Shout out yeah, to Yeah, we Michael. can stay at their places. Yeah. yeah. So it's Which de- bit of Devon? It's Devon near... 
It's near Plymouth. Is it? Yeah. Because I, I mean, we could go over to Cork Island yeah. and talk to the um, Kinsdale Meat Shoot, Cow. Axminster. Well, I'm a lord. <laughs> I'm a lord in in, in the Lake District. So. Oh yes, he's a lord of the Lake District now. If anyone hasn't not known, yeah. But over Christmas, Tom Lord Cheese fought was... this battle <laughs> up north and in the Lake up, District and won vegan cheese. this five by five centimetre bit of land yeah. and now he's a lord yeah because of my efforts on nice. mead and cheese I've been anointed a lord by my younger brother <laughs> for Christmas on Christmas yes I, but I think it suits congratulations me. thank you. you yeah everyone has to refer to me as Lord Tom anyway it is not near Plymouth up <laughs> next uh, Lord Tom not even the same we have Hips Don't Exeter. Lie by Shakira Shakira Mama meat and cheese. Mama meat and cheese. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome back, everybody. Um, so, I think everyone's tried um, that lovely meat that you've had passed round a few times, Corey, haven't we? In our the, yeah, in our pre outside the in our pre mead session, we um, we passed the mead around. Everyone had a bit. Um, do we want everyone to give their opinions one last time? I think we all agreed it would just taste like wine. Mm. Yeah. It did sound like... Did it it, sound it, it, it like was good wine. Red wine. Yeah, but it was good wine, yeah. Mm. Th- that's all That's all me, though. It's just good wine. But, Ed, you, you made a point um, between the songs that if it just tastes like wine, wouldn't you buy wine? I, I made that point before we went yeah. live and while we were live. Yeah. Y- you're you're <laughs> going mad, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry, DJ Mead. Yes, yes, I am. I am going slightly mad. Um, so, anyway, I want to give a little update of how Mead and Cheese is doing on its mission to raise awareness of the beautiful drink Mead. We have actually come closer to our goal. Now, Mead, when we started this radio show, was only primarily drank by Corey West. He was, he was the main patriot of Mead. Since doing this show, my dad now drinks Mead. And I, because I, I got him as a Christmas present, and now every time I look at my emails, I just see a new email from Amazon saying your mead is on its way, and it's for my dad. You know, what I will say though is um, I've been speaking to the managers at Showcase yep. Cinema, and um, I've been telling them every week, oh, we need to get some mead in. Yeah, yes, because it's making a big comeback and it's very trendy right now. Yeah, it is. It is. And so, they've told me that they're actually considering it. That that's that's cr- that's incredible progress. That's what we we went into a few bars to pitch the idea of mead over the Christmas period and a lot of people say that you know when they had mead in that it will be they'll have it in for Christmas and then it will still be the next there's the next Christmas bars you need to promote mead better yes I mead agree. should be the frontline drink it should your your mead should bottle should be going in seconds and that's what we're doing here on mead and cheese we're raising awareness and we have made incredible progress in 2021 and we will continue to make incredible progress in 2022 um and i think everyone here before starting this show weren't mead drinkers but now they're all fully mead patriots yes Ahem. and we have meg <laughs> i am also a mead drinker thank you she yeah. is actually a mead drinker and this was this was, wasn't even something what came from the show she's always loved mead she's just weird mm, i'm just a pirate it's fine could, could you tell us a bit more about the mead you drink I mean, I'm in, I'm from Peterborough, and they have a, a proper meadery there. So I went there before, and oh my gosh, their mead is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. They had this beautiful golden um, mead over Christmas. Yeah, went through the whole bottle. It was Christmas Day and Boxing Day, and the bottle was gone. Was it a honey-based mead, like the traditional? No, no, it was, or was it, it was, flavored. Um, it was golden mead. I don't know exactly what it was. I can, yeah. I can pull a picture up for you, and I'll find it for online. I think I saw it on your Instagram, and yes, I, was like, yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, someone else!" It was really nice. Mead who's not on the radio show yet. That's nice. why I'm here today. Yeah, you've joined our mead cult. Mm-hmm. We need to get on some some more meaderies, meads, yeah. don't we? Because so far we've only had Lime Bay. We got yeah. Kinsdale on this week, but we've not really had a huge variety. Yeah, yeah, and I think to make our analysis is more fair of what the best mead is, we need to. You know, just have more mead in general on the show. Are we legally allowed to have sponsors? Yes. Nice. Now, does the money have to go to Demon? Yes. 
Yeah, but we what could... if they don't know it's a... Well, <laughs> then again, you're chairman, so how would they know? What if they just sponsored us in bottles of mead? What if we get Emily in on it, and then that's the treasurer in on it as well, so then how will they ever know? Shout out to Emily. <laughs> I, I think... Yeah, who isn't listening, guys? They, they don't necessarily need to sponsor Demon. They could sponsor Corey or me personally as a mead patriot, and, um, mm. and then that's how it could work. It'll be an interesting what, one. What I'm curious about, though, is if like, they didn't sponsor us in money, but they sponsored us by giving us free bottles of mead or something. I think that could work. I'm, I'm, How would we give that to Demon as a whole? I don't know. Content. Mm. Yeah, it's, 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 a bit, it's a bit weird, because I don't think we would be able to just give people mead out. I no. think what would hap- happen is they'll sponsor us by we promote their show, but we get a free free bottle of mead and that. And that would be sort of more us rather than demon. Yeah. Now that was Mr. Romantic, Mr. Bombastic. That was shag it. Did he say mead and cheese? I swear he said mead and cheese. He definitely said mead and cheese instead of, I mean, apparently according to the lyrics, it says you be the uh, buns and I'll be the cheese. It did not sound like like buns. What was the the lyric again, Ed? You had it up. Yeah. (laughs) He literally just closed it. I'm pretty sure it was me... You are the bun, me are the cheese. Me are the, me are the cheese. I thought it said But it did say mead and cheese. What sort of accent was that, Maddie? I don't know. I'm looking. He's looking. He's scrolling. The tent yeah. well, building. You are the bun and me are the cheese. Yeah. There you go. But, you know, he got accent. So, he got me that, the cheese. He got that damn sexy accent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. There we go. Anyway, shout out to uh, Andy, who's listening. Apparently, he's picking up pizza. Nice. Lovely. Nice bit of cheese. Nice yeah. having cheese some mead. Pizza. pizza has With cheese that. on it. I had a yeah. pizza Most today. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's had pizza at some point today. Yeah. yeah. What is Student this living. pizza that you talk about? I don't know. Well, Dad has... Well, sorry, Andy. Uh, he has, uh, I think, anchovies on his pizza. Very no, nice. that's wrong. Yeah, that's nasty. Mm. Um, yeah, I like Andy, that's a fine. no-go for me. Personally, I like a good margarita mm. with olives. Oh, has to gosh. have black olives. No, mm. no. That I, or pineapple and turkey. I normally have ham, pineapple and mushroom. Mm. What Cheers is with that. all the pineapple and yes. pizza over here? Pi- well, I, mean, I know you're allergic to them and you might die. <laughs> I could <but> die. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that really gives you a bit of a <laughs> yeah. bias yeah. toward yeah. pineapple. It's like sweet and a savoury, which you don't think should go, and it does go. Oh, it goes the really thing, well. The thing is, today what I had on my pizza was mushrooms, pepper and... Well, oh yeah, caramelised onion. I cannot get on board with the mushrooms. I like a I good barbecue. So mushrooms are great. Well, the mushrooms veggie are supreme. Amazing. Mushrooms are the best topping on pizza. But no mushrooms. Mm, I'm not sure if they're the best. I think cheese is the best cheese topping. Is the best topping. Cheese because is you the have topping. Your, you have your cheese and tomato pizza and then you go, oh no, it's not enough cheese. <laughs> I do add more cheese. Cheese doesn't count as a topping. Have you seen that video I think TikTok. people just overcomplicate it. Just have the bread. Like the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that video? Don't, don't cook like, it. <laughs> bread with sauce. Yeah. Have you guys nice seen that video? Simple. Have you seen that video on TikTok where um, they're talking about a Chicago pizza and this guy's yes! like, "Where's oh the cheese? It's under, it's the, like sauce. under the sauce. It's, it's under, under the sauce. sauce. It's, a, it's a Chicago the pizza. Cheese? There's not enough <laughs> cheese. It's under the <laughs> sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's under the sauce. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. But so so yeah. I want to have a conversation now about Christmas. Yes. Oh okay. yes. Um, how did everyone Christmas. enjoy their Christmas? Uh, so it's well, I know two people in this room were had COVID. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Ed, that might be your fault. Sh- uh, <laughs> when did yeah. you get COVID? Um, a few days after I was in contact with you. Might not be me then. Probably, probably <laughs> was. Shall we go around the room and sort of know. everyone can give the highlights and uh, non-highlights <laughs> of their Christmas? I had lasagna I do not for want to Christmas do that. dinner. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> right. What was everyone's best gift they got this year? Oh, I have to say, I got Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on, everyone drum roll please, Nintendo Switch. Nice. So it's portable, love that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> I live with Maddie, um, and she is not, I actually got her the gift, and she's not stopped playing it since Christmas. True story, yeah. I and, can vouch for that. And our TV's over our bed, so every night when I want to go sleep, I have to go to this sleep to the sound of Maddie hitting monsters with her sword and also riding on roach which is fun hitting them with her sword (laughs) her curved sword (laughs) (laughs) now I also got some lovely presents after I don't suppose if anyone got some current listeners but in the last show that we did before Christmas we ended up going off the topic and talking about trains now Tom took that as a, a great opportunity to take into my love of trains and bought me a calendar 
as well as a diary. <laughs> It's all about trains. Of trains, yeah. Of course they did. And the board game. And the board. No, no, no. The board game I bought for Tom. Oh, so that's okay. slightly different. <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly. You kind of bought the board game for yourself, Fergie. You do love trains. <laughs> Maddie oh. loves trains. She, she, the she correct loves. answer to do you like trains is I like trains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like trains. Yeah. Yes, I. you do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's not actually used her 2022 like train trains. diary yet, and she should be using it. it Demon would be more organised. Was yeah. that the one that fell off the wall? Yeah. So, it, Tom, it I fell off the wall. Up, like, yeah. Tom. <laughs> what was the <laughs> best <laughs> present you got? <laughs> oh, the best present. I, there's, I got so many good presents this year. You got a so lordship? I got. A, I think the lordship was the best, actually. <laughs> I mean, yeah. from sheer just, like, just comedic value yeah yeah that, that's that's the it best one your passport your driving license it is it, <laughs> i have started like signing i went through like a document what had like my name on as mr thomas jackson and i went oh to God. down it change it to lord thomas jackson and it gives it it gives like the document like a different level of vigor you know <laughs> it feels more official it feels more like you know these things in this document on my wish list are going to happen of course uh, I also got a projector, which is really cool. That um, is really that, good, actually. Yeah, it, it does look good. Mm. It's a vibe. We put a uh, animation of a astronaut in the ocean, just bobbing. He's really nice. He's mm -hmm. very relaxing, very sweet. And, and, and you just enjoyed that. Just for sat hours, there. For yeah. hours. J just on your own, not even doing anything. Just very chilled out. Yeah. We, when we played the train game, we actually had a train background yeah. as we played it. Not and that was. Did you not have ASDF movie on in the background? <laughs> ASDF movie. You should have had that. You haven't seen Tomska. <laughs> oh yeah. That's where I like trains. Kid comes yeah. from. Yeah, I like trains. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But but the guy who does the voice died. Oh no. <laughs> many years ago, he was also oh, called no. Ed. So that's why I know. Okay. So uh, Ed, what did you get for Christmas? Well, my sister, because she works in the perfume shop in Worcester. So if any listeners out there are in Worcester at any point, Don't go mean, to the perfume mean, shop. Big up Woozy. No. Big up Woozy. If if anyone is in the Woo. <laughs> Boo. In the in the Woo. To be fair, Woozy yeah, sounds the better woo. though. If anyone's <laughs> in the Woo uh, oh, and gosh. is around Crowngate, you can go into the perfume shop in Crowngate and um find my sister, Althea <laughs> Hawthorne Woody Are you pimping your sister out now? No, I'm not. <laughs> But I just really want to creep her out by people going up to her and going, are you Althea Hawthorne Woody who was born on the 21st of May 1996? Who's you, brother do you with also Edmund live in Woody <laughs> Thing is, if, if, if they told them that I was the one who told them all the information, then she'd just be like, oh, God, are you being a dick? <laughs> mm. Excuse me, but yeah, language. But yeah, because she works there, instead of buying me a present, she won a bottle of Calvin Klein Defy, and gave it to me, and that is to this day the only bottle of perfume I've ever owned. Really? Mm. Yeah. I've, I, I always get like a perfume. She Christmas. also got me some chocolate rum. Ooh. That sounds nice. How, have you tried nice. that yet? Oh, I've drank it. Was it good? Oh, yeah. Was it more chocolatey or more rummy? More rum. It was right rum with a t chocolate aftertaste. Oh, okay, okay. Because you don't want it to just taste like chocolate. Yeah, because that would be bad. Like, yeah, I feel like that would be quite hard to drink. Mm. So we've got mm. some really nice alcohol from uh, Tom's grandparents. We've got a lovely rosé um, Prosecco. Uh, that was lovely. We had that at New Year's. But then I also had a bottle of tequila that I bought myself. Nice. Um, <laughs> it was a treat. Courtesy of my parents. Shout out to Andy. We love him. Meat and, and that cheese. was Get Around. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I did Get Around back in the day. I don't know about you guys. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What are, you, what, are you, what are you insinuating by that? Yeah, like, no one I'm knows. not insinuating anything. I'm just saying I got around. <laughs> got around where? What, yeah, what, are, what are you trying to do? Get around, 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 <laughs> around, get around. Is this pan? like what we could all be doing right now, but we're not because we're sat in a studio drinking mead. Or <laughs> mead and we're not sat in a studio and we haven't drinking even, mead. Speaking of people who drink mead, drink mead, we do have a fellow mead drinker. And yeah. I want to know, mm. what do mead drinkers get for Christmas? as the best present mead of course obviously <laughs> it's yeah, gotta be it was, it was a nice um, mead golden mead with honey it mm. was mm, yes chef is, kiss it was bussin is that the mead bussin. you've been telling us about <laughs> yes oh my god it was um, Peterborough Meadery it was yeah. shout out mm. shout excellent. out excellent yeah. yeah and the thing is uh, Megan here has already like 
found three different meads. Oh we're, yeah, yeah. We definitely want to show you. This is what, what what I mean. Like the difference between like the average drinker and the mead drinker is they can hunt down the best meads. And you found what was it? A pirate mead. Pirate mead. It was pirate blood mead, um, wine mead. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. It. We're we're gonna have to have that one on the show. Hundred percent. We'll have to we'll have to get hold of some pirate mead. Should Arr. we try a mead from every country around the world? Does every country around the world do mead first? Possibly. Well, Is that does, old? Like, does Greenland have bees? Does well, they're part of Den- they Denmark, so they don't count. Does Den- Canada Green. have bees? Yes. <laughs> does Canada have bees? <laughs> Canada has bees. Does New Zealand have bees? Does Canada exist? Mm. Does Finland? Finland. Mm. So, Corey, I'll message you, you never got the chance to tell us about your dear Christmas, so... Yes. Would you like the opportunity to walk us through that? Right, so um, I have a goal, me and my partner, we have a goal to go on holiday in every county in the UK. So for okay. Christmas, she bought me a scratch-off map of the UK where you can scratch off all the counties. So I'm going to scratch off all the counties every time we've been on holiday. Have you, have you ever watched the YouTube channel All the Stations? No, I haven't. It's a man and his partner who went around every train station in the UK on the trains. Nice. That is a amazing It's one of the thing. greatest series you could ever watch. Maddie would love that. Oh, I th- I think you could you could spend days and days <laughs> watching that. Yeah, I and agree. I did. Because they go all the way from Land's End mm-hmm. to th- not Fur, so the other one that's Kill not as far me. north. <laughs> so die. pirate mead. Yes. Arr. Yeah. What what group would we all associate with drinking mead the most? That's a very good Monks. question. Let, let's start with Maddie and we'll go around the room. So, Maddie, you go first. Vikings. 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 Okay. Uh, Megan, what would you associate mead drinkers I with? I mean, you think of like medieval times, but yeah. I do I do associate with pirates, even though pirates drink rum as well. Mm. Okay, so mm. pirates. Mm-hmm. Ed, who would you associate with? Monks. Monks, Monks yeah. Okay. Yeah, they make this stuff. So, you know, you got to try before you sell. <laughs> Corey, who would you... Try your supply. I I want to say like kings, like medieval kings. kings. Yeah, that's sort of my one as well. I I I've always assumed that they that mead was drunk at you know them medieval parties where um they had like the hog like the hog roast and there was all like around the table drinking and eating food. I imagine mead was like the main drink they was drinking there. Well, we must yeah. remember that Doverkeen drank mead. Or at least minded. That's true. Ulfric Stormcloak is a big mead drinker. Mm. Yeah, I Man. also think Corey is a big mead drinker. <laughs> and that's the first person who comes to mind. I mean, shout out to Corey, the homebrew Ulfric community Stormcloak. in general. I am not Ulfric Stormcloak. Do you I aspire have, to be him? I have both fought for Ulfric Stormcloak and killed Ulfric Stormcloak. Well, he is a racist. In different mm. lives, so... Mm. Yeah, Corey, do you ever think that in a in a past life that you possibly were a mead drinking king or a mead drinking king I 100% king. I think I was yeah. definitely a mead drinking yeah. queen yes yeah. I think I was a mead we drinking pirate yeah. I think I was one of the bees that, that <laughs> made <it. laughs> I could personally have, yeah because I, I, I feel like if you were to like be reborn you would become a bee to like help the mission of making mead I was the queen bee in the hive at the meadery. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. That's some dedication. That's some dedication. Now, yes. back into it with meat and cheese. Sp- We've just enjoyed ourselves a little cheese. bit of Wednesday Dale on a cracker. You're spreading with little my bit- cheese. <laughs> spreading your cheese. With a little bit of uh, cranberries, I believe, isn't it? Wensley Dale. Mm. Yes. Well, Wensley Dale is the cheese of Wallace and Gromit. It and is. Fun fact That's about what? that. They saved Wensleydale. Wallace and Gromit did. Mm-hmm. They did. Mm. Yes. The, um, those boys up in Wigan. The mm-hmm. Wensleydale Creamery in Yorkshire did almost go out of business until they released a Wallace and Gromit like themed Wensleydale, which was very successful. Mm-hmm. Now, Corey, would you see yourself like. So, Wallace and Gromit factually saved. Um, they factually saved Wensleydale cheese. Yes. Would you see yourself as the saviour of mead? Being since we've started this radio show, mead sales have increased across the country. Would you start to see? Would you consider yourself a saviour of mead yet? 
I would consider the two of us as the saviors of Mead. the saviors of Mead and cheese. So, Corey West and Lord Thomas Jackson on the Mead and Cheese Show are the saviors of Mead. Many people have said. Yes, that's true. That is very true. It's a fact, Sorry, actually. So, um, Ed, you <laughs> you have something up right now. So, so, so a couple, like, what was it, the second week of Mead yeah. and Cheese, I, when I first came on, we did the Google Trends of Mead, how, how, where has the most searches for Mead in the UK? And would anyone who's not seen the map but care to guess where still has the most searches? So, Megan, you have definitely not seen the map, so where... I have do, not seen the map, no. Where do you think Mead is the most searched in the world? Like, people search... In the world? Yeah, in, or in the is UK, it, is, or...? Is it UK or world? It's in the UK, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's only shown Within the UK, mm. where do you think the most searched It's trend? got. It's got to be somewhere up north. Okay. Do you think that? Do you think that? I mean, I quite like Mead, but I'm... Yeah. Give a, give a guess. Like, give, give it like a city a, a or city, county. Yeah. I mean, okay, I'm go- oh, let's say Leicestershire because, we're, you know, we're here. Okay, okay. Ed, what are Ed? the results? So the results, there's two results. One has 100 of mystery value. The other's nine. So uh, number two with nine is London. Okay. Number okay. one is Leicester. Hey, <laughs> big up Leicester. Has... Has that increased since we last checked? I, I honestly think it might have increased. That is solely on you guys. Yeah, it's yeah. Corey, and now it's my dad who's also buying loads of mead. <laughs> what does the scale oh, even mean? Shout out to Tim. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just reading it. Because, like, 100% of all mead searches in the UK, or 100% of searches in Leicester <laughs> involve mead? Well, there can't or? be that many people searching for mead. If It's just... <laughs> don't know ed after our great mission last year i think a lot of people might be searching for mead now exactly. especially in leicestershire but i think particularly in leicestershire because <laughs> that's where our target <laughs> it's market, like nowhere else in the country as well oh, like, like to fixate on mm. is nowhere else in the country is talking about mead apart from leicester and apart from london mm-hmm. i think it might have just been my search earlier that <laughs> for me <laughs> maybe maybe solely just you searching Corey, have leicester. you been to london recently <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can neither confirm nor not deny. Tonight. No, I haven't been to London. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anywhere where Corey goes, there's a, sp- there's a spike in mead searches. My uh, my cousin went to London recently, so uh, maybe you know my cousins were searching up some mead while down there. Yeah, have you sort of like so obviously you drink mead and you've got yes. other people drink mead. How mm. how how many of your family now drink mead? My my family, I, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm the biggest mead drinker this in the family. This is your student so, sound, um, Demon FM. Yeah. yeah, that was an ad for Demon FM. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we went over say, to this 8 o'clock, amazing, so though. we should probably go on. And welcome back to Mead and Cheese. You are joined with DJ Mead. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, DJ Cheese has gone to the toilet. Yeah, DJ Cheese has gone to the toilet. So, um... <laughs> yeah, he turned out badly. <laughs> That's his okay. second toilet trip. So, <laughs> yeah, so what's everyone's like a baby. what's everyone's favourite song cheese. by Coldplay? Oh, I Viva do La that. Vida because it's the, o- the it's the only good album that's a ho- good the whole way through. Yes, but yes. I do okay. like Yellow. Yeah, Yellow's, Yellow's great, but good. then they did two really Clocks quite mediocre albums. I, then Clocks they did Viva La Vida slash Death and All His Friends with Brian Eno, who's one of the greatest people ever. And then they stopped making music. Coldplay have collabed with. That's BTS how I like recently, to think about, haven't they? I've got to say, I'm of not a huge have. fan of Coldplay. <gasps> See, Coldplay, Viva La Vida, I only remember it because of the Minecraft parody, yeah? <laughs> right. I used right. to rule, <laughs> rule the world. Yeah. And there is Mr. Cheese. <laughs> should, Cheese is locked out. Should we play some Viva La Vida? We're going to be playing some Viva La Vida, but we've got that sounds Mr. Like Cheese. A, that sounds like a great <laughs> idea. DJ Cheese! DJ Cheese! <laughs> Come on, DJ Cheese, get back to your chair. Yeah, now we can finally talk about the cheese. The cheese yes, part the of the cheese. Show. Ah, so, yes, the cheese. So, for Veganuary, we brought in <laughs> some uh, vegan cheese. And um, how would everyone rate it? Feet. It, it smells like feet, tastes like feet. How does it um, melt? It doesn't melt, that's the thing. What's the so point I'm of vegetarian, it? and if they were able to make some good vegan cheese, I Vag probably would go vegan, because I, I, I don't have milk i don't have butter anymore but she still has cheese but i do, do love put cheese on your toast yeah it's okay yeah, sunflower spread and via yeah. life and 
Oh. You can get other supplements for butter that isn't butter, yeah, exactly. but technically it is butter. No, I mean, it's not I like can't margarine. believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not yeah, butter. Yeah, but it's just... I I mean, margarine's not. not exactly the best. No, but, you, they, but like... they, you know, give it a few years and they'll create some good vegan cheese oh, and yeah. then I'll probably go vegan. Yeah. I will say this about the, the vegan cheese. I'm not fan. It's meh. <laughs> when you taste it. <laughs> it. The smell is terrible. In comparison... Mm. I it's probably wouldn't get it again. Which is soft. It smells terrible. It's delicious. And it reminds you of childhood mm. with Wallace and Gromit and watching those films. It's everything. Yeah. It's oh. okay. Oh. Wallace it's and Gromit night, okay. fe- February yeah. 14th. Yeah. But shout out to Ed Show on February the 14th. Yes. Tom, you're oh, the vegan cheese. That's just going to be me and my flight. <laughs> <and> my <parents. laughs> with, some al- with some alcohol. With some rum. <laughs> I don't rate all cheese against the best cheese I have. I rate it about around the average cheese I get, which is mature cheddar. And that's sort of like my... It's like signpost in the ground for cheese standards. And that, for me, cheddar cheese is just the standard cheese. Yeah, I'd I rate that... Look, like a good bit of mature cheddar. Though. Yeah. Ooh, mature cheddar, cheddar is like a good cheese. cheese pack, but it's I mean. not amazing. It's not... But it's good. I don't know. I think that cheddar is just the best cheese. I yeah, think it, cheddar is way better it, it's, than it's the, the vegan it cheese is we just have the in standard. Yeah. It is the best. This is, this is below cheddar. It still has a cheddary vibe, but it has a plastic vibe it's just not it's not kicking the spot but give this cheese yes what, go, give my this... my thought is yeah. i would rather eat a hundred slices of the american plastic cheese yeah than i this agree one. oh yeah and that yeah. is the low end of cheese well yeah. even you know on the first time we had meat and cheese shout yeah. out to the first show that we ever did yes um he brought cheese in a can squeezy cheese oh no i'm gonna ask and that. the squeezy yeah. cheese was much better than this to be fair, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was still disgusting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. What I would say about vegan exactly. cheese is give it a few years. Right. Yes. Give vegan cheese five years yeah. and let's see where vegan cheese is That's after what I'm five saying. years. Yeah, definitely. Give, give it some time. Give it some time. It needs and to evolve. Because sure cheese has be been here since around probably about the same time of me do it. So there's a lot of time to mature. <laughs> vegan cheese has not been here for yeah. as long, I would assume. Well, if, you, if you look back on old vegetarian and vegan yeah. food there wasn't many options but now there's loads of options oh, yeah. i think give vegan cheese a couple years and they'll come up with some good ones. I'm I'm curious. like if linda we... mccartney makes a pretty good burger to be fair yeah, linda oh, mccartney scary. oh they're mm. scary good the Mac- their Don- rosemary sausages yeah. oh my gosh they're so good I, I find them a bit dry but i still quite like them with a bit oh, yeah, of sauce no, they're a little bit dry mm. i do yeah. agree with them that but the burgers like, like i had a burger with a proper well, a meat burger with the rosemary car- rosemary yeah, McCartney um, one. I had one, of and them. I was like, "Oh my god, I can't tell the difference." Yeah, the ro- is scary. You can't because like, there's mozzarella in it. It can. Yeah. They're, they're a different taste, but the taste is still nice. But the thing oh, is, no, no, no. Rosie if you get the does it right, lovely. Then they're basically the same, but they're usually quite dry. Yeah. So if you have it on like um, a barbecue, they taste the same. If you have it in an oven, it's going to taste different. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't lie to myself and say that there's no difference between a Linda McCartney burger and. The meat oh burger. no, there is a big because difference. there's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. But the Linda McCartney burger Speaking is still very as nice. Almost five years of vegetarianism. Mm. I can't tell the difference now. Obviously, I haven't eaten meat, but when so I so have, you haven't compared. Well, yeah. I'm not <laughs> going to compare. This doesn't sound I'm like a very scientific I'm test. I'm just saying. I used to be a very big meat lover, if you want to call it that. Yeah. But now, <laughs> but now, I, I you know, meat. if I have a um, meatless supplement. Then I can't really tell. I yeah. Think. Mm. Especially the vegan sausage roll from Greg's. That I, is I think phenomenal. the more the vegan dangerous. sausage roll is yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So I think dangerous. the more processed it is, the less no, difference you can tell. Like with bad. chicken nuggets, vegan and um, vegan. Chicken oh no, nuggets, vegan chicken nuggets. Zero Especially difference. The corn ones. Oh my god, yeah. they are literally the exact same it's as McDonald's. Exact same. Uh, the muck plant burger is very nice. Again, I've not had <gasps> beef. I don't eat beef a lot. I've cut. I've cut a lot of the land animals I eat down. Right, I'm I'm saying this now. I reckon the McDonald's staff overheard me because I was in McDonald's a few weeks before the muck plant came out and I was talking about yeah. how vile their, um, their, I can't remember what it's called, the, the wraps, the veggie wraps. Oh, the yeah, the, the beans. How it's, horrible yeah, yeah. that was. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't like it and they needed to create a meat supplement 
burger yeah. at McDonald's. Yeah. And literally, like, a couple of weeks after, the McPlant comes out. I'm like, I own that shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There, there you go. Megan, <laughs> who is a mead drinker. Yes. <laughs> We'd like to apologise for the yeah. language just used on but mead and cheese yeah. on Demon Affair at Fridays two, 7 till 9. No, even I've had McPlant, yeah, yeah. and it's really I, nice. Yeah. I and, like, the I cheese they do right, the tomatoes, the lettuce, They've got more vegetables in them, definitely. So, Megan, what you're saying here, as a mead drinker, You've gone into McDonald's yep. and you have revolutionised McDonald's. I by think that I yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm Do you think they should sell, start right selling mead? I think everyone at McDonald's. McDonald's. Well, German yes. mead. McMead. German Mackies do sell beer. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't count. That's beer. Yeah, but it's only one step away from mead. Yeah, it's that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I think Here's beer a is a slippery slope to me. <laughs> Here's a question for Veganuary. What is a vegan product that surprised you? Oh, God, mm. mead isn't vegan. Mead is not vegan. No. Vegan. Oh, God. Some this... mead is vegan. What is do it? they make it out of? Well, obviously, if it has honey in then it isn't... It isn't... So how is it vegan. mead if it's not made with honey? Well, you don't need honey. Is this really. like how... You, you can get yeah, you do. mead without... Mead, mead is a honey-based yeah, drink. Is that honey. is what it, mead it's is. It's like how cider is apple-based. Yeah. And I will not hear argument. <laughs> <laughs> if, it sure pears pears it, if it has pears in it, some if it has pears in it, it's, it's, it's vegan friendly. That is, yeah, that is vegan friendly. I come from friendly. Worcestershire. That's where we make it. Mean was he? <laughs> I come from the three counties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found out that that's an actual thing now, not just Seriously. a choir festival. I'll tell you a vegan product that surprised me. Not Recently, I had the um, new Cadbury's vegan bar, the one Ooh. that they make with mm. almonds. And it was so nice. I have not tried that yet. I actually think... I, I need to try that. I actually think it might be nicer than dairy milk. That's yeah. Well, to be fair, dairy, dairy milk, milk has changed great. its recipe, though. Yeah. It tastes so much more plasticky than it should, it should do. But, yeah. And that's really... It does my head in. Because I like the original dairy milk. I can mm. Everyone can agree around this table. Even when they had the chocolate eggs, mm-hmm. they didn't taste like plastic. They didn't taste so sweet mm. and sickly. They, they tasted yummy. They very yummy. much Americanized oh, it after yeah. they yeah. went to Mondelez. But the, Not the, the new almond-based bar... But I do. <laughs> I really have a problem with Mondelez International. <laughs> as a thing, they're just a very evil company. They're up there with Nestle. Yeah. Not a like, can of we, DMFM. No, no, DMFM, <laughs> can we just unify as like whole demon media that Nestle can be boycotted because I don't like Nestle and it really upsets me that they make quality streets because I really like quality <laughs> streets. Ed Woodyworth does not speak for Demon FM. I, 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 no, I I as health and safety either. manager. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're, de- they're destroying the rainforest. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, I don't even care about that. <laughs> <laughs> It just because it's about chocolate. I'm, yeah, that. <laughs> and the, I don't like them. And also the water thing. The water and thing? the baby Modern milk. Day oh, yeah, yeah. It's, the the it's pa- baby powder milk. The yeah. almond based bar is so nice and creamy. I think and it surprised me of how creamy it was. Yeah, because um, Megan's almond chocolate milk she bought. Oh, no, no, no. It's not mm. almond. It's oat. oat. We have it in our fridge, by the way, because we left it there. You yeah. still have it? Yeah, we have it in the fridge. I thought I lost it. Honestly, that stuff, that I had it. It was good. so chocolatey. It was so much more. That is one so of my nice. favourite drinks. I only get it on rare occasions. but um, So it's oat milk with chocolate. Mm. It's like so it's chocolate milk, but it's not got milk in it. Yeah, I think it tastes better it's than very, it's very refreshing chocolate milk. Mm. I I think it's, it's nice, isn't it? I, I'm not sure if it's better than chocolate milk, but I no, say I've it's. Got to say it I mm. I think it's a very good competitor. I think it has oh, a no, very definitely. different vibe as well. You and can really taste the chocolate. That's, w- that's the thing, though. What I would say about it, I can sum it up in three sentences: it's upbeat, it's modern, and it's friendly. Yes, yeah. of course. Okay. On, Hello yeah, and welcome you. back to Demon FM. Um, we've had a little bit of a technical difficulty. For some reason, we've got a flashing light saying that we're silent. If you can all let us know whether or not you are hearing us, that would be lovely. If you can tweet us at Demon FM or even message us on our Instagram at Demon it, FM. It's, it's fine. Is it fine? Yeah. yeah well, okay. I think well, everything's fine. fine. If then there's any technical issues, do message in. Because it's just flashing silence. And we're like. <laughs> Anyway, we will go to. Yeah. We I, I'm glad that you just like told everyone to like say message in. Please tell us if you can't hear us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because no one's going to message in, aren't they? Yeah, well, you know, you might do. <laughs> uh, I thought, yeah, that's a good point. Fun, fun thing is, I actually thought that was the right logic to do. I felt people would say, "Yeah, yeah. we can't hear you." Well, the thing is, if someone messages now <laughs> saying we can't hear you, we know that they clearly can. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. They'll just now, message in anyway. I just had a thought. I think that what we should do is a mead-along. Mead-along? Well, you know how the, you can do a read-along 
mm. where you read along with the re- audio book. Yes. Uh, nice. Well, yeah, I think I think drink you should along start. with us. Yeah, we rec- we announced disclaimer: the we don't drink in the studio. We have a pre-mead session. Yeah, we drink all yeah, the but mead. you know, it's yeah, the mead along is, yeah. with the show. But you, but you, have, you we announced can, the mead. You and can the drink cheese. mead. Yeah, you can drink the mead, and you can drink the I cheese at the studio. You, yes, you can drink the cheese at home. Oh yeah, buy drinkable cheese. Make a cheese sauce. Yes, exactly. What does everyone think of the rebranding of Lilt? Oh my god. We've already We're not been on this, this again, are we? Bit, I genuinely just think that it's like it's just fans are trying to get people to buy it does, Lilt. It does look okay, yeah. exactly like the Fanta yes. can. They're like they're Because to, uh, genuinely, I haven't seen someone buy a can buy a can or bottle of Lilt in maybe 10 years. Mm. Lilt's great. It's I kind like of up Lilt. The, it's kind of there and then there's also Tizer. Oh, I which, love Tizer. I know Tizer's Tizer's weird because you never see people buy it that often. I but buy it's never, very often. It's never gone out of sp- like style. It's never not popular somehow. You, you see, the thing but is... But it's always full on the shelves. I al- Tizer isn't a mixing drink. I, I always be buy Tizer because it's only a pound a bottle. Uh. And that's for the big bottles. See, I buy the 27p what lemonade. Yes. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the mead at hand... Do you like that? Do you like that pun? No? No. No. What? Okay. Um, <laughs> my brain's gone numb. I don't know really what a good pun. Pun. You were, go- you were, you were going to say something. Puns. I was going to say something. And then you just went silent. I know. So I what is know. the mead at hand? Um, the mead at hand? Have you got any more funky facts? Funky facts. Did you know that mead is an alcoholic beverage with a honey base? Uh, possibly the oldest alcoholic drink ever invented. But Fairness. you can get vegan mead. How can you get vegan you can mead? Get vegan you need mead. to explain this. What is the base? This in sounds vegan like mead? beer without alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds I'm telling not you, you can, you can get vegan beer. mead that doesn't have honey in. Could you bring some on for us? I mean, I can try and get a hold of some, yeah. And be then free. Be free mead. Yeah, be free mead. Ed. Tell it's us, not, tell us about the bee free mead. This is someone's blog from two thousand and eight. It's January. We need to have an inclusive. Like you can tell, it's two thousand. It's it's on Blogger. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the blogger still existed, but <laughs> it, it by a seventeen year, a seventeen year vegan, twenty seven year vegetarian in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, I'm not trusting their opinion. Shout <laughs> out to Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, on Reddit, vegan mead alternatives. Yeah, but they're alternatives. I, and I, not I promise mead. you, yeah, I've that, had vegan mead at, at one point. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to. Um. I think it's one of those things where we'll consider it, mm-hmm. but once we try it, then we'll make a full, full opinion on it. If you can get us a some vegan mead okay. on the show, then we I will, will 100% around. endorse it as long yeah. as we believe it. It's real. Okay, like okay, mead. okay, okay. You make it out of agave nectar. Mm-hmm. What is agave mm-hmm. nectar? It is well. It comes from the agave plant. Nice. Or the, the yeah, this plant, or that plant. Wait, can you describe it to the audience so they know what yeah. they're talking about? Uh, if you go onto Wikipedia or Google Images and search A G A V E plant, yeah, you'll probably get it. But it's a type of syrup that I assume that they just ferment. Yeah, oh. but again, it's, but would that still classify as mead? Is mead yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Does mead it have to mead. be honey based? Is that traditionally? Traditionally, yes. but this is a non-traditional mead, mead or fermented honey water, according to Wikipedia. Yes, mm. yeah. and Wikipedia is more accurate than the Encyclopedia. Oh, Britannica. everything you read on Wikipedia has to be fact. Yeah. <laughs> well, Wikipedia is more accurate than the Encyclopedia Britannica. So, quite frankly, well, I, I do suppose as like the people who invented mead are long gone. How to make and, a gallon of and mead? And we are sort of the <laughs> inheritors of mead. <laughs> That's being said. We can choose and that. define what defines mead. And I think if me and Corey could have some vegan mead, and we could define if that is mead or not. Here's the thing: if it has mead on the label, exactly, then technically it's, it's mead. mead. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm yeah, but if it says cider on the menu, I'm still going to complain on the label. I'm still going to complain when it's made out of. Pear. Yeah, exactly. If 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 this mead, if the mead we mean? had said mead different. on it, but it had pear, books in, I wouldn't Perry. think it's mead. I think us Perry. as as no. assessors of mead, and it should bad. Well, if we do a shout out <laughs> yeah. to the first show of mead and cheese that we ever did, 
I did a Two Truths and a Lie yeah. about mead, and my lie was that mead was originally made with a maple base. You did, if you remember. yeah. So, That'd be a very weird one to find so out. So could, could you have a drink, whether you called it mead or not, with bases that are different sugary syrups? Yes. That aren't See, I think it would be but a different drink. Yes. But yeah, would it Because I think that mead? mead is very much bees. So yeah. I think it's just a, it's a different type of drink. Yeah, it would Same be a different drink. I, I, I only think the only situation where it could be an actual mead I mean, you'd call mead. it like maple wine or something, yeah. wouldn't you? Not if me, mead. me and Corey made a mead committee and we mm. confirmed that that was mead, I feel like our opinion on it would would have some weight. But otherwise... Would otherwise, you just give it a, a slightly different yeah. name? Like vegan mead, you would call veed or something. Veed, yeah, that's, veed, that, that yeah. could work. That could work. Veed See, what, could what, definitely what work. What would be the group name? Would it just be like fermented syrups? Fermented syrup alcoholic drinks. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Could you do I, it with golden syrup? I don't think so. You don't yeah. know what it works like. I just think we've got to follow the science with, well, it, with, well, with defining like what mead is. Rum and what is isn't just mead. made of sugar, so yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, mead, honey is basically pure sugar, isn't it? Because so. if I, if I'm saying like syrups are mead, I now, think you can. That means I could conclude Coca Cola, nice. which mm. I can't. Hello, this is a mead and cheese announcement. We have had a message in from one of our great supporters. Tim Jackson at present is enjoying a traditional mead and a Stilton cheese at this moment. Um, he also thanks Demon Media for introducing him to mead. He says he likes his mead in a shot glass alongside cider. Okay. We tried mead mixed with cider, didn't we? We when did. We were doing our mixing we experiment. We did. We did try mead and cider, and I can't. We mi- I can't remember where we quite ranked it. It was. I think it was below beer. I think it was below lager. Yeah. Yeah. Because was, um, to be fair, no one likes lager and no one likes beer apart from middle-aged men. And also beer, I love a bit of lager, <laughs> actually. But what? Why do you have a problem with me? Because you like cider. Yeah, cider's yeah, great. We all like cider. Yeah. But yeah, Are you hating on cider. I do like a bit of cider. But, but, mm, but cider mm, is an Tom, amazing drink. You don't mm, like lager. Lager is fine, but uh, I, yeah, amazing. yeah, this is the weird thing. I do not like beer uh, unless it's like flavored beer, which I sometimes enjoy. Oh, amigos. Yeah, like amigos or desperado. Ew. Well, not you so really much enjoyed it with me. Tequila beer. But I when I had mead I like mixed with beer, beer and lager, it was a very good drink. It it it, it improved um, beer a lot. Yeah. And would you agree with that? As you, you love beer. I love beer. I love mead. The two mixed together, they complement each other really well. Because yeah. You've got something that's a bit more bitter mixed with something that's very sweet. And the combination, it, the, the drinks are very complementary. Yeah, the, the very complementary drinks. Yeah. I just, I, I'm just not keen on yeah. beer or even cider. I mean, unless it's like fruit ciders, I do like a good fruit, fruit cider. But other than that, no, you won't. Yeah, as it. I've, as I I've said before, cider. fruit cider is well, apple is a fruit, so all. I cider don't like is apple cider fruit. though; it's sickly. Yeah. yeah, but apple cider isn't called apple cider; it's called cider because cider is made from apples. Miss, Mr. Tim, if you if you make it from something else, it is wine. <laughs> not I quite like cider. a good perry though. Yeah. See, Perry is fine, but as soon though. as you start trying to say it's pear cider, it's not pear cider, pear cider it's Perry. Strawberry yeah. cider. Ooh. Anyway, Tom, you yeah, have strawberry cider. Awful. Yeah. Mr. Yeah, Strawberry, it's, not, it's delicious. Awful flavour. Have you not tried Order! Order! order. Oh, yes, I have. Order! Order! Order. Yeah, order. order in the house. Order! Order, <laughs> order Tom. Right. Order, Tom. yeah. Order, so, yeah. Tom. Yeah. Yeah. over in the corner. <laughs> so, to, um, to elaborate on what Mr. Timothy Jackson is drinking tonight, he has got traditional ap- apple cider and honey mead, the traditional lime bay mead, the one what is mm. number one on our mead ranking list. And he says the drinks, it's a pure English drink. Yes. This show yes, is slowly becoming more like British children's yeah. TV. <laughs> <laughs> we like In cider. what way? Elaborate. We like mead. It, it just reminds together. me of that thing no. of just like... And he, like, what was it? The birthday show on yeah. CBeebies. <laughs> and here we have a card from for <laughs> Alex, age seven. <laughs> He's, He's having a lovely meat. cake today. <laughs> He's also drinking cider. <laughs> to be fair, 
you know... I, He's drinking I'm, the great concoction of schnogaboo. You know what? <laughs> CBeebies would be much better if they were all drinking mead. Are well, you, you sure they're not drinking? They <laughs> I'm sure they are. Like, they're doing a bit more than past drinking. Past seven, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I mean, to be fair... 7pm. I I a.m. Did you... How many of you guys in here watched Dick and Dom and De Bungalow? Oh, my gosh, I yes. swear they were doing something on that well, set I, that I wasn't that, alcohol, but mm, it was not legal. I know it got cancelled because when they were doing baby races, people got too, too competitive. <laughs> Yeah. And they did baby races. I always <laughs> wanted to be part of one of their custard fights. Yeah, same. I really wanted to be part of one of their custard oh, fights. Oh no, there's that clip that keeps on circling around on the internet at the moment where they were like, oh, hi, Stacey, we've got you a pony. And then they oh, turn no, around and go, that. it's not really for you. <laughs> <laughs> laughing in her face and torturing this child and I'm like it's pure British it's pr- it, this TV is just, this right is just amazing can television I just say, it's, it's, can I just say how much I love Dick and Dom because there was Dick and Dom in the bungalow and then there was Dick and Dom Bellagies. Adventures which mm. was just I don't even know how to explain that show because they were just like, oh yeah, we're just going on a mythical adventure for random stuff and we don't really know what we were doing any no. either but we need a job. <laughs> yeah. What are they doing now? They're DJing now they? in Stoke on Trent, I think. We have to hmm. go there. Uh, well, not to Stoke on Trent, <laughs> but yes, to Dick and Dom. Originally, yeah. Richard and Dominic. Well, they're still Dick and Dom. Richard and Dominic. Oh, they do the did weakest they link. Now? The weakest link. But they also DJ. We should get them at DMU at some point because, as I said, we need we need. We should get Dick and Dom on Ramesh and We should get Dick and Dom on Mead and Cheese. Oh my god, just imagine it. Yeah, Dick and Ramesh Dom. Ramesh Ranganathan and Should we tweet them? We kiss them. You know what I want to see? I want to see yes. a tag team right wrestling match: Dick and Dom versus Ant and Deck. <gasps> No. To be fair. Dick and Dom are win. You can't compare no, them, though. They will, You though. can't. They, they will. will. They I will, think will Ant and Deck win, because Ant and Deck are like... No. no. Ant yeah. will jump out the ring, and then Deck no. will just try and Ant deck and Deck everybody. Are the One of them will crash a car. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ed, no. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Hey, this is factual, okay? I know you see, it's factual, I imagine, still. I imagine Deck is like one of the high-flying wrestlers, though. Like He can bounce off the ropes he pretty well. He seems way yeah. too passive. He seems way too aggressive and, and, and how he is. But Ant seems like a him. powerhouse. I feel like Ant could probably Ant. pick up Deck no, and Ant's throw it. I and think Dom. he's too. I much think Ant's sense. got some like real built up like aggression. Yes, I agree. So yeah. Yeah. Sh- yeah, short man syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah short yeah. man syndrome. That's. A, I mean, that's, that's just exactly. our opinion. This doesn't, you know, yeah. uh, you know, this doesn't go towards the station. But this is our opinion. He does have short man syndrome. <laughs> My Meanwhile, sort- Dick and Dom, they're more or less. They're still the same sort of like mm-hmm. shortness, but they're the same height more or less. I want to see. Yeah. Philip Schofield win a WWE Royal Rumble. <gasps> Can you imagine? Okay. Uh, my my opinion on um, Dick that. and Dom and Anton Deck is, well, Dick and Dom were you know had a little bit of time in the highlight. Anton Deck have a longevity of you know being good presenters. They're, yeah, but which they're, they're really Dick and Dom is my childhood know. though. They're, they're, they're national treasures in my eyes. Is, yeah. So that people know and who Ant, which one's Anton and which one's Deck. They always have the set photo <laughs> so that Ant is on the left. Yeah, but. Dick and Dom, they don't need to do that because yeah. they act- they're they actually <laughs> no, different people. Because no one remembers who Dick and Dom are, but everyone remembers who Ant and Dick are. No, no, no. Are. everyone knows who Dick and Dom are. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows who Dick and Dom are. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, can ask someone's nan to someone's baby gen- generation. Dick and Dom, and they're going to answer. No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think, I think modern-day children don't know who Dick and Dom are, Dick and Dom are, but they definitely know who Ant and Deck is because Ant and Deck. I will be educa- educating my children. We need the children. Dom. We need a fatal four-way tag team match: Ant and Deck versus Dick and Dom <laughs> versus Big Cook Little Cook versus <laughs> Alexander Armstrong <laughs> and Richard yes. Osman. Yeah. See, I Big think that Alexander Cook. Armstrong oh and Richard gosh. Osman might have that. Yes. Because Alexander Don't Armstrong worry, was Big. Danger Mouse. I'll just lick it up. And Richard Osman <laughs> is a giant. Yes. Yes. He'd so like I think that it is like just the, 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 yeah, the, he'll just be swinging around. Um, what's his and what's his name again? Anton Deck. No, oh, he'll just Dick be swinging. Richard Osman will just pick people up and just swing, <laughs> them swing him around. Like I want baby, to see yeah. Bradley Walsh and Alexander Armstrong have a fight. Ooh, that does sound shout. See, I don't think that Bradley Walsh should win that, but I don't think that Alexander Armstrong would either. Mm. <laughs> I think that they would both. Not well, no, they win. start singing, wouldn't they? Yes, both start singing. Yeah. Well, one of them get Bellies. a TARDIS and just leave. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. They'll start singing. Let's be honest. They can't exactly get a TARDIS from the BBC prop station, can they? Maybe. Well, I mean, the chase is isn't it? <laughs> to be fair. It's not like the BBC has locks on anything. No. Apart from, you know, certain certain things. 
what? but we're not going to go into that. Um, <laughs> that. That was also I don't know what you even. Yeah, the BBC is good at keep keeping some things under lock. I'm just going to say JS. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. They brought yeah. locks on some things, not yeah. other things. But anyway, um, yeah. So this wrestling match between Dick and Dom and Anton Deck, I definitely think Dick and Dom would win. I'm personally. putting my money on Anton Deck. They're British. You know, nation sweethearts. They're really not they're nation sweethearts. sweethearts though. They're no. the nation sweethearts. Dick and Dom. Dick and Dom are. The question is, who drinks the most mead? That's we should tweet and them out. Dick win. and Dom. I mean, it's probably it's probably Deck. Let's just say that. Yeah. Tim Jackson <laughs> says Oliver and Hardy. Oh, not Oliver and yes. Hardy. Yes, the the young duo. Well, do the young know about the first duo, Oliver and Hardy? Ball? Google it. Ollie and Hardy. Yeah. Is it, yeah, Ant and Deck, Dick and Dom. We love that. We're going to find out who's going to win. And also make sure to tweet them at Dick and Dom as well as at Ant and Deck. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to redo the poll and add it in. Exactly. Yes. And we want them to know whether or not they drink mead and if they would like to come on the show. Yeah, I would love to get Ant and Deck Unlikely, on here. Not so much. Try. I don't mind having Dick and Dom on here. I, I'd like to have both duos on here and we can sort of, you know, the traditional mead and cheese duo. Mm. Try find one you, Twitter you love first Dick and Dom and, do and you have Ant and Deck. Okay, uh, sh- should, we, should we get some music going while we do yes. this? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, we've yes. got um, I Don't Feel Like Dancing by the Sisters. And we only have 10 minutes left. Bogies! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that uh, in and out interruption from me and Meg. <laughs> we were having a bit of fun. Um, anyway, it's the last seven yeah. minutes of the show. Oh my god, so, big cries. I would like mm. to thank everyone who's joined us today. We had Megan here with us today, who is a mead yeah. drinker before he's seen the show, so that is our first, first time on in the studio. Time. I've really enjoyed Th- it. This is the first thank confirmation that me. people actually drink mead outside <laughs> of this show. I do. I, I am a mead drinker outside nice. of yeah. Outside of this show, we have outside Maddie. Out of the show, out of the show. Who's an on and off Ed, me drinker? Who, am, am I a guest at this point, or am I just like that guy who sleeps on your sofa for you're, like a week too <laughs> long? You're, you're, you're the voice of reason on the mead show. <laughs> well, basically, me and Ed are the producers, and you guys are the DJs. And yeah. we've had Corey with us, <laughs> our mead <laughs> expert. And yes. I think what I would like to say is thank you for everyone out there who has supported Mead and Cheese by buying mead, drinking mead and enjoy mead you have helped us make incredible progress in 2021 by raising awareness of mead because we're bringing mead back we're making it upbeat and modern again and raising the leicestershire yeah we're going to raise Search, awareness. searches we're, of mead the searches in leicestershire most popular are, place yeah. for mead in the uk mm. it's the most yeah. popular place in mead in the uk is leicester we are currently at about 100 searches Let's get that up to 200, or maybe we could get it to 1,000 by the I end of the year. I think 100 is the maximum it goes right, what to. Do you think, yeah. Yeah. You should think. Think. What do you think, as a goal for your listeners, Yeah, for this year, what do you want them to do the most? We want them to push mead out there. We want to yeah. see mead being sold in supermarkets, yeah. in shops, in pubs. I want I want it to when... Is out- this going to be like the campaign for real ale? Yeah. <laughs> when, <laughs> when when Audi and um, Lidl do their... Uh, their uh, sort of price match sort of advert I want them to be price matching mead you know, but nowhere else sells mead that's yeah, the problem so this will be the great expansion if you're going out don't ask for a cider be confident ask for a mead yeah. say where and if they say we've got uh, mead say request that they get mead in yeah, that's why it's because this is this is what we together we have the power to change the course of British history by asking for mead to rejoin it. If enough people demand mead, the companies will follow suit. Yeah, everyone will follow suit. We're aiming for the pubs to not have mead by the end of the next Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. We want we want mead. We I want, want mead now. I want, want mead to be yeah. as regular as a bottle of wine. Yeah, we want mead to be so popular More they're running out of mead. More regular. will be running out of mead. That, there'll be a mead shortage. Let's let's aim for a mead shortage this year. <laughs> let's not. I don't want <laughs> to run shortage. out of mead. Yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah, Corey oh, yeah, doesn't no, Corey want to, goes have by to the like, yeah, stop drinking so. something else. <laughs> anyway, it's now four minutes to nine. I think it's time for us to have our last two songs. And then sign off, unfortunately. Thank you, everyone out there, for following in the mead and cheese mission. This is the closing statement of today's show. I am in a band. My band, the Nithercots, as we are called, have recently released our first album on all major streaming services. So look us up, the Nithercots. Our album is is called The First Attempt. So go have a look, and thank you for listening to Mead and Cheese. 
so well 